TDCNC have travelled to Brighouse. Now, I'm here at the headquarters of Cromar, and we've been invited here today to investigate further the manufacture of the swarf conveyors and also the swarf, full swarf management systems. Now, Ben, thank you very much for the invitation. No We're starting off the tour uh, in the production and engineering um, department. Now, yeah. can you tell me how important this is to your company? Well, we've got to design it right for the system to work properly, so it's critical. All the parts that get issued to our factory for, for manufacture are all designed here in Brickhouse in this office. It's a production and engineering department, so we have our engineering team here and we have a production team over there. So every order that comes in goes through here. Now, people may not all be aware that you don't just sell standard products, you also sell uh, bespoke solutions. Right. So is this a big part of this department's work? Yeah, it all, all goes hand in hand. We have standard products we make, they get designed in here, and then there's the more specialist bespoke solutions that we have to provide to the customer, and again, they get done in here. They take a little bit longer to design, but processed by the same engineers. Now we're going to start off on the Amada cell, so Ben, let's go and have a look and see what's occurring there. Let's have a go. go. We've now made our way down to the manufacturing facility here at Cromar, and we've been joined by Mark. Now, Mark, you're Ben's brother, and um, you're heavily involved with the manufacturing processes. So this is the first process. So what, what do we have uh, behind us here, Mark? This is an Amada turret punch. Uh, we use this for smaller jobs and metal forming. Um, we can punch two and a half metre by 1250 sheets, up to five mil. Uh, we tend to only use this on the smaller gauge material, but it's a very useful tool for one-off individual conveyors and also for the uh, forming of the metal. And, and what other machines do you have in this particular process, you know, for standard products? Right, well, we've, we've uh, three Amada press brakes and an Amada guillotine. Um, so this is all used for the construction of the conveyor systems. And what kind of size materials go through this particular machine here behind you? Well, fundamentally, it's two and a half and three mil, but we can punch up to five mil. Uh, anything thicker than that, we put on the fibre laser machine. Now, that, that, let's go and have a look at the fibre laser. So, Ben, we've moved to the fibre laser machine. Now, yeah. why have you invested in this piece of equipment? Well, as a company, uh, we're continually investing. We need to invest in the right equipment for our products to give us capacity. We're always trying to increase the capacity to suit market demands, and we needed to buy a, a fibre laser, and we did. And we've had it running for two years now, and it's fantastic. And what, what parts can you make on the fibre laser that you can't make on the Amada punching machine? Well, with the fibre laser, we also have automation geo, so that gives us the opportunity to run lights out, but it's, it's more precise with the, some of the complex parts that we need to put into our, our fabrication department. And, and the automation as well, added to this particular piece of technology, how has it improved your business in general? What kind of benefits have you seen since purchasing this? Well, what we've got to do, profitability is, of course, very important. Um, so profitability has improved, but most importantly, it gives us that flexibility where we can support our customers with delivery times that they need. That's number one, profitability secondary. Now, we've looked how the, sheet, the raw sheet metal is being cut. You know, what processes uh, are there after the, 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 the cutting of the sheet metal? So once we've finished uh, cutting the sheet metal, it then goes to the fabricating uh, benches and it gets, the conveyor gets made. Right, can we go and have a look at that, Ben? Let's go. And we've seen how the, 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 the sheet metal has been cut. Yeah. Now, we're here in the fabrication department. So can you explain to me what's, what's occurring? Yeah, well, it's gone from cutting it's got bent, then it goes to fabrication. But here we've got a Combi Generation 2 conveyor. Um, this is nearly finished now, so our guy will be doing some final checks to make sure it works internally. Um, the product itself is a Generation 2, so it's an entry-level swarf management system. Not the full system, but it's a, a lower-cost alternative to the drum filter conveyors. Now, this one's designed to drop into the OEM coolant tank, so it's a good product. It's a... Uh, commercially viable certainly for some of the smaller machines that are working in quite hostile environments so yeah that's it i mean you say it's a standard product but blimey it looks quite complicated you don't realize or you don't really appreciate the amount of work that goes in to one of these conveyors i mean it looks like there's many components on there that are being put together and it looks like a very skilled operation to me 
It is. You know, we have to train our guys from the start to get them to a level where, you know, we, we are trusting them to make our products which are going all over the Europe, if not the world. Now, can we go and see an example of this as a finished product? Let's go, Joe. So, Ben, now we're in the assembly and testing department. What products are we looking at here? Well, this is the Combi 500 Generation 2, actually the same product that we looked at on that uh, uh, workbench in the, in the fabrication bay. This actually supplied with uh, a larger coolant tank than what the OEM would supply, so it's more capacity. You've got a 15 bar coolant pump. This product here is a Series 3 conveyor, so next level up from this, you have a drum filter, again, a bigger tank. Um, that one has 70 bar on it as opposed to 15, so super clean tank. This one's using uh, cartridge filters. And how many different variants of Swarf management systems and Swarf conveyors do you actually have or, or produce? It's hard to tell you, Geo, truthfully. Um, I think we're on five and a half, six thousand drawings, and there'll be different revisions of those. So a lot of conveyors over the years, a lot of machine tools, machine tools change. We have to change our product to suit the machine tools and then the applications. So it keeps going on and on, which is fine. Now, in regards to standard uh, SWARF conveyors and full SWARF management systems, for people that are not 100% familiar with them, you know, what, is, what, what do they entail, the full SWARF management system, which we haven't got one here, but what kind of, what, what, what do you get from it? Well, a full system, it, it, it becomes an integrated part of the machine, so it's not just getting rid of the SWARF, it's managing the coolant, that might be managing the coolant temperature, filtering the coolant, Everything is getting returned back to the machine. So you're getting really swarf, you're cleaning your coolant, you're monitoring your coolant. It's and what, different levels. what considerations do you have when manufacturing and designing a full swarf management system for different machine tools? Whatever we make has got to work. And it's not just a question of it working, we have to support it for the long term. So all the products that we're producing here, we carry stocks, uh, spare parts, X stock. And how important is that service and support and having things in stock? And how important is it to have full control of the manufacturing process? It, absolutely crucial. You know, when we buy machines, we want reliability, we want support. And the same applies to our customers. They buy products of ours, they need reliability and they need support. So to summarise, you know, how do your products add value to machine tools? The whole point of buying a machine, as I alluded to earlier on, is to make money from the machine. So conveyors, coolant systems, they have to work. And, you know, if there is that occasion when there's a problem, it has to be supported. So any issues further down the line, they're sorted quickly by our company, enhancing the productivity of the machine, optimising profits. Now, for people that are not aware of all of your product range, you know, one, you know, what other products do you offer? What other solutions do you offer? And, and, and finally, how should people get in touch with you, Ben? Well, our main product range is conveyors, swarf management systems, coolant filtration systems. But we also do ancillary products supplied to the machine tools. So you have your oil skimmers, your wash guns, spin windows with the UK dealer for a, a, a German leader, uh, Alts and Hermann, so they have the Roto Clear spin window. And we're also the dealer for 3.9 Miss Extraction products. Ben, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time today. You're welcome, Gio.